Hey everybody, we're coming in the hive today, first time in a long time, especially on video. And here's where things stand in Mississippi. The goldenrod, the last big nectar flow, is just about done. I got a big stand of it just off camera right there. And I can tell how far the nectar flow season is going uh, looking at those plants. So there's, there's tons of it within a two mile radius of here. But I look at that and kind of gauge whether or not it's time to start uh, getting ready for the bees to no longer have nectar. So what does, that, what does that really mean? Well, for us it means last chance to see if there is an excess of honey. And if there is an excess of honey, then we can take some. And we're kind of hoping that there is because we're kind of low. Uh, we kind of would like to get a couple frames. And the, the trick here is making sure that we don't take so much that they can't overwinter. Uh, the very first year, we gave these bees some sugar, hunt, uh, sugar water, but we've never fed them the uh, two winters since. So we, uh, we would like to see us be able to get by without having to feed them. So uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Mama, can you come around here and hand me that frame holder? Now, no matter what, even if these were completely packed, which they're not, that's actually very surprising. Hmm. Even if these were completely packed, I'd only take half at the most of what's here. Because I know they've also got honey in those bottom deeps down there. Well, this is very disheartening. They've got full comb, but it's almost like they're already eaten off of it. Because that's just empty. What are you bees doing? They've been so active. It's full frames of honey. We're going to have to dig deeper in here and find out if there's a problem. Y'all know we had the wax moth in that other hive. But this hive's been so busy that I didn't suspect any problems coming out of this hive. Take this super off. There is no honey at all in this super. Yeah, we don't. If they're not gonna fill this super before winter comes, then it needs to come down so that they're not. So they don't have extra space where all that heat is rising up into this super instead of staying down in the brood box. Yeah, I think we need to take this super off. There's nothing up here. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know how well you can hear, but in case you couldn't, you know, Mama's Jennifer saying, you know, her two cents is we need to take this off. And I agree with her. I mean, I don't see anything. I mean, they're acting like they're looking for some nectar up here, but I'm not seeing it. All right, so we're down into the upper brood box. Let's see what we can find in here. Brood comb. This is very strange. What is going on here? We might have to feed on them if we don't find any honey in here. I'm not happy with this. There's a hive beetle. I can't tell which variety. There's a lot of bees, so that's one good sign, but there's, I just see a, several hive beetles. That's the middle frame in the upper deep. It is completely full of comb and hive beetles. And hive beetles. Oh my goodness, I ain't never seen so many, ever. We have a hive beetle issue. Oh, mercy. 
I don't even know what to do with this frame. Not put it back. That one frame looked like it so far. That was the the beetle frame, you know. All right, there's some larva in this one. Let me try to get the sun to work in my favor. Couple day old larva. If you're uh, seeing larva up here, watch for the queen. Yep. Okay. Is that a thought? You're talking about swapping these around? No, swap these two. Put um, put the couple of good frames that are in the in this one uh -huh. into that one. Okay. And then put this one on top of that. Well, that's completely empty. I mean, if we're gonna do that, I think we just go down to the one box. We could do that. I mean. I mean, all this empty space for some reason. If that's what we need to do, is give them less space so that they can fight off the, the problems. Yeah. Maybe that is what we need to do. All right. So what what we pretty much decided to do is we're going to take the one or two frames that have any activity on that top one, find a couple down here that have no activity, and uh, swap them around. We think we're having another problem with space. There's too much space. This this box was super active earlier in the year. Oh, look, the bottom of the box is just covered in them. Take that. This box is almost dead. I know. That one's empty. We're going to, if we don't... I'm going to cry. Okay, everybody, so here's, here's the situation. We got a couple frames up here that look like they have a few day old larva. This entire bottom section is gone. There's, there's just a tiny bit of wax and that's it. There's nothing in the wax. Um, but up here we have a couple. So we're gonna panic here and I'm going to use the only nuke box I've got to try to lower the amount of space these guys have and take them down to five frames. Um, the only nuke box I have is actually built for mediums, so I'm going to have to put the two on top of each other, the two mediums. They'll have too much space down below, which means there's a chance that the bees might draw comb on the bottom of the frames. But i got to do something. i got to get them out of this box. It's not working for them. So, um, move this. The only good news is we have a lot of I've got medium frames with comb on them. <clears throat> so if I need to let's see. This was that I was going to use this box to capture swarms and the only calls I ever got, either the swarm was 30 feet up in a tree and I couldn't get it, or the swarm left by the time I got there. So this box has never really been used. We tried to use it to capture a few of our own swarms, but that didn't work either. Alright, so that's one. And we were going to use this part of the box to bring in the honey. But there not being any honey. That had the larva and some honey. This had some larva and some honey. Did we see anything on this one? Okay, so we need to get them some comb. That's got some honey. Check the top box. That's got some honey. The top box, the honey super? Yeah. For what? Was there anything on this side at all? No, just there were bees up in it, but there weren't there wasn't anything to That's got some good comb on it. We'll put that on the outside. And 
and that's five. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna shake bees down into this. I hope we have the queen. I, yeah, I have no idea. I have no clue where the queen is or is not. I, I have no clue. None. All right, so I'm just gonna get, it. when I get something cleared off as best as I can, I'm gonna ask you to walk away with it. Just put it up far enough away that the bees wanna have to travel. It's as good as that's going to get. Well, okay, everybody. Off camera, we've been smoking the bees out of the other box. We don't know where the bee brush got sat down and so the good news is it looks like the bees are flocking towards uh, this little nuke box so while we never saw a queen whether it's the smell of the frames or the queen itself or whatever it looks like they're going into there uh, I saw in the last five minutes more hive beetles than I've seen in the last three years of beekeeping. So I think while we have predominantly been quote unquote treatment free, uh, we're probably going to have to do a bee trap, or a not a bee trap, a beetle trap, and try to make sure that these honeybees, because I cannot believe that that hive was packed. Uh, just two months ago and now it's it's empty so we got to figure out something and at this point so late in the game these bees are gonna have to overwinter in this nuke box or just not make it we're just gonna have to see so if you've got any suggestions uh, things to try uh, for keeping the beetles in control uh, one thing I think I might do is I've read a lot about uh, changing the ground uh, putting like a, you know, like so there's this strip with the boards that the hives sit on. And what I've heard is instead of putting it straight on the ground, you put down weed mat, you put down rocks or mulch or something that makes it so that the beetles uh, can't get down into the ground and um, make their larva right under the um right under the hive. Uh, I've heard like asphalt shingles and things like that so maybe that would be something we can do that's a little uh, pest management that's less invasive. So let me know what you think about that and we'll let you know next time we talk about the bees whether or not this colony is still going. Uh, we would very much hate to lose them. Uh, this is the colony we had since the beginning. Who knows how many generations of queens have passed since then but it's the one we've had since the beginning, so we hope we can keep it. If it's y'all's first time being here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button up in the corner. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.